everybody, welcome back to the episode of 7 Days to the Alpha 17 Season 2. Today we return, we have a broken leg, there's a, probably still below us, very, yes, there's definitely still below us a very angry zombie bear. We are stranded up here, uh, we are in the middle of nowhere, our misadventures have brought us to pretty much a new southern portion of what is just seeming to be like, dude, it looks like the center of this area over here is like the center of a giant city mecca, and it's actually kind of insane, so hopefully we can get like a winter coat and venture into there at some point, that actually be pretty cool, there's a lot of cool areas over there, but in the meantime, uh, priority number one is probably to get a splint and- ooh, Okay, beautiful. We were actually trying to get this bear to come out for a while. Hopefully, bear, please stand still, buddy. We can get enough stuff into the zombie bear to take him out, and we can actually kind of be free and make our way out of here. Because uh, here's the problem. I think the zombie bear is going to be pretty powerful, and we probably need to start using our guns again. I don't want to use the gun. Dude, this thing is so finicky. I don't want to use the gun, though, because that might draw more zombies towards us. But... Honestly, as long as it's not a zombie bear that we're talking about, uh, that's probably better than our current alternative of quite literally being stranded on a building in fear of a ginormous zombie bear. Not just any bear. This bear's freaking zombified, dude. He's an extra level of douche canoe. But hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety that only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. And oh, I thought he died for a sec. I got my hopes up. Woo! Let's go. The fact that that only gave us 880 EXP is insane. Also, this building that we're on top of might be a decent one to loot, so please don't fall. Okay, I caught the ladder. Bless up. But hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety. That only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. And also, in case you guys haven't already, make sure you are subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date with the 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 Season 2 series and all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well. Let's just go and put a couple of the finishing blows into the zombie foes of ours. And there we go finish you with a little one hitter is he done is he still stumbling he's looking pretty dead okay i definitely want to harvest this bear we do not have our hunting knife with us unfortunately so i'll use the steel axe which i think is the best alternative and we'll just try to collect a couple of things from this feller we are also over encumbered so that's great too i know that we got to actually drink some water to regenerate some stamina and stuff i am aware that water does that I saw some of y'all pointing that out, but uh, what you recall, the main thing we're concerned with is actually getting our maximum stamina back, which something like some chicken soup should be able to help us with alongside our thirst. But uh, yeah, if there's ever anything that you guys want to see us specifically do in game, definitely make your voices heard in that comment section down below. Always happy and willing to listen to y'all and take your feedback into the series. But uh, for now, we're just in this predicament where we're in the biggest pickle I've ever seen but in brighter news there is some pretty nice stuff back here in the store and unless there is another zombie bear which let's be honest there's probably another zombie bear lurking somewhere uh i feel like this ooh, fancy fancy okay we need to consolidate room a little bit uh i will probably get rid of you paper also probably get rid of okay this we could craft into a bone knife which is actually gonna be a good way of harvesting stuff in the future until we get our knife back let's just put a couple of things away that we don't necessarily need and okay i will take one of these anvils the other one we will just scrap and collect for resources since they do not stack the iron fire axe will also be scrapping and the paintbrush we aren't really in too desperate need of what i don't have the necessary resources to craft this what? Why did I just get yelled? What? I just, oh, I don't know. Oh, we just crafted a level four bone knife, though. Not too hello, shabby, to say the least. You don't have the necessary, why do you keep telling me I don't have the necessary resources? Is it because I'm like accidentally clicking craft on that thing again? I don't know, but I like the little like just pile of stuff we have over there. But yeah, I think our current goal is we need to figure out how we're going to establish ourselves. Shmello to you, my friend. Okay. What to do, what to do. We need to free up a little bit of inventory room here. Um, What to get rid of. Goodbye, stone arrows. Hello to steel fire axe. I don't want to sell you yet. I feel... I don't want to scrap it either. Maybe sell it down the line. I don't know. A steel fire axe? We just got... Oh my god, that buddy scared me. I've been scarred from all the different animals that have attacked me within like the past episode. Let's freaking go. That... Right there is one of the big reasons we were trying to look for more stores to loot. We have just gotten the best mining tool outside of the gas automated auger. 
which makes me a very happy camper. So let's collect a couple of these things. We already have a wire tool, the iron door. I might just scrap the ski goggles. Not too concerned with those, unfortunately. Might end up scrapping some of these pistols because we have a lot of them. Some of them aren't even that valuable. Might as well get some parts out of that. And I'm really crossing my fingers. Can we get some duct tape out of here? Because that's the one thing we need to make our... Uh, Dreams come true of having a functioning leg anytime soon again. We can get rid of some of those, free up some inventory room, pick up the frames for now. Collect some of these crates over here. This should be the final one in the back room, and let's freaking go! Greatest detour ever! We, ladies and gentlemen, have just gotten ourselves one of the big reasons I've been wanting to look for these tools. The auger, which, because I think we have a chainsaw at home too, completes the power tool trifecta that we have or not trifecta dufecta whatevs but it completes the chainsaw auger combo it's not the best quality but so be it that we need to pretty much have as automated and efficient of a way as building our own base from scratch and reinforcing future bases as possible so that is definitely a big win and to celebrate god dang it we're getting food poisoning I was going to say we're going to eat some celebratory tuna, but apparently the tuna, it's still wiggling around in our belly or something like that. Dear mama. But so we'll go ahead and scrap this can. I know we dropped a couple here. Let's pick that up. Is that a can? Yeah, there we go. Let's scrap these. Don't want to be leaving these behind or nothing like that. And then let's bring the auger into our cusp. And it's a little bit dinked up. Once we get this bad boy repaired, oh, baby. This is going to be good. We're going to be saving that, but that's going to be really good for, like, setting up a mine in our future base. And, okay, guys, this is what we've been waiting for. Because now that this has been established, pretty much what this means is that we have all, I think, besides, like, the levels and stuff in order to, like, unlock a lot of recipes. But we have a lot of the building blocks in place for us to... A, fortify a super dope place. I was looking through some of you guys' comments, by the way. I, like, I, it still seems like a pretty mixed opinion with, like, trying to fortify the settlement. Honestly, we may have ditched those settlement fortification dreams due to the whole zombie detour situation that has gone on. The uh, zombie bear attacks. That has kind of caused a bit of a detour here. Even if we wanted to, which I've still seen some of you guys expressing that you guys don't want us to do. Uh, even if we did want to build over in that little settlement and fortify it up, it see like there's still some controversy around it. So just given the fact that we're kind of in this uh, very large pickle, so you might even call it a cucumber. <laughs> uh, we are in this very large pickle where we're in the middle of nowhere. We have a broken leg. It might it's gonna take a while for this leg to heal. And, like, it, we might just be better off trying to fortify one of the places we find over here. I just get to scrap in some of this stuff. Nothing that I'm really looking to keep, but I'm happy to collect some iron. And simple lights? Eh. I, I, I will leave you behind because I can't scrap you lights. So, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. But here's the problem. If we do end up sticking around here, which is what I think is ultimately going to end up being... Dear mama, that's so loud. Uh, the power move, our go-to... We got to figure out which place to fortify around here. So we definitely got to explore a little bit. Find a place to call home. And that's where I wanted to encompass you guys into it. And let me know in that comment section down below as we pass by and check out some of these locations. Which one you want to see us fortify? Or if you guys maybe see one in the distance that we didn't check out, for example. Over by this area where we're at right now. Let's go! And that is a big find that we need to craft ammo that's what I'm saying, man. Tool stores, they got what we need. And this tool store, I think in exchange for the whole zombie bear kerfuffle that went on, it is giving us some nice stuff in return. And that makes me happy. Now, I might, I'm tempted. Ah, I kind of just want to scrap the iron pickaxe. We do have the steel one and we have an auger. So bye bye, Mr. Pickaxe. Give me the iron and that. And ooh. I might go ahead and scrap up one of these bows as well. I, hello? What, what was that? Was that, oh, stone arrow. Yeah, I don't need that in my inventory. And then what I want to do is also make sure that we have these wooden frames on tap. So that's part of the reason that that zombie bear thing ended up worse than it could have been. I, it just, just so happened to not have frames in my inventory, which kind of made things a little bit worse. I even saw some of you guys saying, you might want to see us fortify the parking lot. Now, I'm kind of mentally scarred from that parking lot, so I don't know if I could ever set foot in that place again. But, hey, if you guys think that that's a good place, and if it's one of the only places we really have nearby, 
I'm game to check it out and potentially have that be like, we just gotta fortify really a couple like doorways and a couple of windows. And honestly, there's a lot of infrastructure already in there. So that could end up being a really, really cool as well. I've never thought to fortify a parking lot before, but honestly, I'm not entirely against it. So chime in on that. And like I'm saying, any location that we do run across, I don't think the barn is one that I'd consider though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all y'all barn fans out there, but I think that one might be a hard pass. That thing is not too fortifiable and it's like made out of wood. That's another thing to consider is like what type of resources the buildings that we do pass by are made out of. From what I'm seeing over here, mm, I was gonna explore a little bit this a ways. I'm not really seeing anything too promising. I still haven't found that duct tape and like, ah. Uh, I don't know like a specific loot container we should be trying to loot that provides duct tape, you know? Like, I know we could get it from like a variety of places and I know we could craft it too if we get the glue, but I'm just not sure like which loot spot in particular might give us the best chance at that. So again, I'm not trying to wander too far away. Although I do think there's another like town or city over that way, but I just this broken leg kind of putting a damper on things when it comes to going super far to explore we're kind of a little bit limited in our space and the unfortunate thing as well is that we don't have our chainsaw with us which might be a bit of a doozy but you know what would be dope to get crafted up i saw some of you guys commenting this as well thank you guys so much for all the contributions down below always happy to hear um that we should try because we're level 25 so technically speaking we could actually learn how to craft a mini bike. Now here's the problem, however, because the bicycle is cool. It's pretty whack though. Um, here's the problem. We got to level up intellect again, which is going to cost some points. And now we do have the power to get that, but that's going to cost another point. So we need at least one more level. And maybe crafting the mini bike around here would be pretty big. We're not getting that motorcycle for, yeah, the, the motorcycle is going to be a little bit. But since we're a little bit more powerful, hopefully we could actually get EXP more efficiently. Uh, but getting this crafted up too, that's going to be pretty big. We can get advanced engineering popping. We've unlocked a couple of pretty decent things. So we're not in the worst situation here. Because I did say that at some point we need to invest points into intelligence to learn how to craft better things. Which is kind of central in us being able to like do a lot of the cooler stuff in game. Obviously we got to level up too to get like the helicopter, which I really want to get, dude. That would be so freaking dope. And what is this over here? The passing gas? What is that, just a barrel? It looks very explosive. I kind of want to shoot it. Am I allowed to shoot it? Okay, I get a freebie. Do you blow up? That does not blow up. I am so disappointed in you, fake oil barrel. How dare you get my hopes up like that. But out of exploring the nearby area, this little... Okay, so this is just a dead end right here. This does not even connect to anything. And uh, it does look like, again, that there's like the whole winter part of town over there. But problem is, oh, what is, what is that? Oh, do we find a settlement? Let's freaking go. Oh, that makes me kind of tempted to move over here. I saw something jump and don't know if that's a bear or not. I'm just playing it safe. I'm backing it up. Too many XP. Okay, it's just a zombie. Still playing it safe. Not even going to kerfuffle with that. But yo, this uh, could be a power move if it is what I think it is, because that'll let us actually clear out some stuff, sell them, sell, sell some things, hopefully make a little bit of profit. No, is that just a treehouse in the back? Did I get my hopes up for nothing? Oh man, I think I did get my hopes up for nothing. The closer I get, I think it's just the backyard to a house. That's exa yeah, that's exactly what it is. God dang it. Uh, we do have. What is that? Little gas oil factory. That could be a pretty cool loot spot. Don't think we've ever looted that up. This is where we're getting into that questionable territory. It does get winter-like over here. There's that tower we noticed before. Definitely want to give that a visit at some point. It kind of gives us a sense of scale as to where we are and how far away we are from home. Spoiler alert. A decent amount. Speaking of which, nighttime's coming. Oh, baby. We got to find a place to chill out for that. Oh, hello, zombie. How you doing? I'm really not going to try to deal with you right now. Hope that that's cool, my dude. I'm just trying to kind of survive this predicament we have gotten ourselves into. There's another part of town over here. So we'll explore this really quickly. If we need a place to run to, though, 
We might... What is this? Oh, that's just like a little scrapyard or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what that is. Okay, okay. Oh, no! No! Be gone, demon! Nope, no, I'm, I'm gonna shoot you right now. I hope that's cool. Just, just letting you know you are being shot. Unless you continue backing up. Don't you dare get closer. Okay, I think it's getting closer. Oh, what? Hold up. Like I said, I got a grudge against vultures. This thing's gotta go. Uh, boop. Hey, feels like I'm playing duck hunt, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Very nice. Okay. Other than that, though, we got a couple of buildings here on the left and right. We are coming up closer and closer to nighttime, though. We're about three in-game hours out. So we really got to find a place to settle down for the night. I, I'm not trying to have a hot place for the nighttime, guys. Oh, hello. Is that a can? No, that just looks like a destroyed building. One of the two. God dang it, I keep getting my hopes up for a settlement. Let's just accept the fact that it's not gonna happen. Is that a pig or a boar? I think boars are technically aggressive. Okay, that's just like some kind of tall building, something over there. Uh, this, okay. Okay, this is starting to get kind of familiar-ish. Does that say open? Hello? Is this a store you see? Hey, 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 boo boo. Who's open for business? Why is a garage open? It looks pretty close to me. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, I'll stop. Uh, yeah, hello. What is this like a little? Is there a trader in here? Knock, knock. No, that's actually a place we got to loot. God dang it. I kind of would like, I'd, I'd settle pretty happily for a trader right now. Okay, now this is a really weird place. What? It's like an decimated building or something. There we got some kind of building up there. Worst case, we could just hop on the rooftop of one of these. Obviously, still got to worry about, like, vultures and stuff, but it'll be decent for nighttime. And uh, then I'm just trying to, like I'm saying, trying to survey the land a little bit, showcase the surrounding area, give you guys a tour as well. And then I think tomorrow... Oh, my God. Tomorrow's going to be day 13 already, though. Tomorrow, we need to 100% find a place and start fortifying it because... We don't really have our huge ammo stockpiles. So, and we, we don't have any of our stockpiles, really. It's just throwing a huge bone into the machine. I don't know if that expression makes sense, but pretend it does. God dang, another treehouse place over here. But it's definitely uh, throwing a surprise into the machine. To the point where we don't have the resources we thought we'd have. And uh, we're in the middle... Oh, I don't know where. Again, not the most ideal. All right, though. I just want to see what's past these houses. And I think I'll call it for that. And like I'm saying, I just want to survey the land. Give you guys a good feel for what there is surrounding us. The nighttime should at least give us a chance to, like, rest our leg and stuff. Because it will heal by itself eventually. It just takes so long to do. And splints require duct tape, which is so annoying. If it wasn't for the duct tape, we could definitely have it. Why is there a floating spike? Okay, floating spike is now gone. Hello. This appears to be a pretty densely compact area over here. But yeah, we're gonna... Ooh, piece of candy. I see smokestacks. Could that be... No, that's not the weapons factory. That thing's super recognizable from afar. Uh, here's what I'm gonna try to do, actually. Why don't we take this opportunity... Let's hop on up this building, hope that zombies don't somehow reverse engineer a way to follow us. <laughs> and let's, uh, let's skedaddle on up here, hopefully not take a nasty fall by, like, hitting the edge of that. That's literally what happened to us. I don't know if it was earlier this season, or in season one, but it happened to us at some point. But, uh, let's just hop on up out of here, put that there, and hopefully the roof doesn't collapse on us. And it should at least give us a decent idea of what's nearby and we could kind of chill up here for the night time too. maybe break our way into the place too but okay well besides the fact that that door over there appears to be having a seizure noticed a couple of interesting things before it got foggy again why'd you get foggy and then unfoggy is there like a sweet spot where the fog stops why did the fog stop game oh my god I am bamboozled it literally it started it stopped then it came back why you do this game? I just want to be able to see. Dang, the game. Seven Days to Die just does not like me. 
as soon as we get up here to have like a vantage point of everything that's going on, seven days is just like, nah, nah, we're gonna make it super rainy and cloudy, but out of that sneak peek that you guys saw over there, do you recognize that structure? Because that seemed like it might have been one cohesive point of interest of some kind. That might be worth looking into. But other than that, I think we're gonna just continue chilling up here for the nighttime. Just to give you guys a quick status update on our character, if we go over here, we got another 28 minutes. Oh, now it starts to get nice again. Okay, okay, so hold on. What do we have over there? We got an apartment complex, whatever that is. We can dev- oh, oh, we got a really good view. Yeah, we just gotta back up, apparently. Look at this, it just gets foggy, and then, like, it stops. I think the fog's gonna roll in, and it's gonna roll out. Oh my god! Look at that. That's so goofy. <laughs> but yeah. We're gonna take this opportunity to hopefully survey the land. If any of you guys know what that is, definitely let me know, because that seems interesting. Looks like some pretty generic buildings to the right. Looks like an apartment complex, apartment building in the distance. Actually, a couple of them. One might be a movie theater. I think a church over there. Might be a, some kind of store. It's hard to tell what that is from a distance. Looks like that might be good, though. I don't know. If you guys see anything promising, anything worthwhile down that ways, that might be a store over there, too. That, like, little, little block we're seeing. I don't know, but hey, at least this building actually proved to be, like, kind of strategic. Tallest building around. Honestly, yo, let's build up a little bit here. Oh, what? God dang it. All right, hold on. Let's put that down. Yeet. Now let's jump our way up to this. And this should give us an even better view that's slightly higher. But... Ah... Uh, yeah, if you guys can make out anything distinct, definitely let your boy know. That looks interesting over there. I'm just trying to do- I w This is where I really wish we had like an 8 times scope or something. That would be amazing. That has my attention for some reason. Probably the freaking garage door having a seizure. Uh... But yeah, let me know what you guys think the game plan is. Do you think we passed by anywhere that might be worthwhile fortifying? Or do you guys maybe see something out that ways that we should look into looting up and fortifying? Because here's the thing, at this point, it's about to be day 13. I'd love to continue looting, but again, with this whole zombie bear wrench throwing situation, uh, th things have, the situation's changed, right? And uh, the parameters are different. We need to find a place to fortify and be safe at for day 17 with our limited supplies. This is all that we have access to, and we actually have some pretty valuable loot. I'm not trying to lose this. Ton of scrap iron that's going to come in handy. A couple of valuable things we could sell. Some pretty valuable, like the freaking auger, steel pickaxe, tool and die set. Today's been pretty productive, but at the same time, it just has me worried. Because day 14, man, it's almost here. And like, I, if we get some traps properly set up in a good fortified place, like I'm saying, I think we'll be okay. But when it comes down to it, we got about 100 pistol bullets and 100 rifle bullets. We don't have a shotgun with us, so that doesn't even matter. And like, we got about 8 arrows left. Our supplies are limited, and time is running out. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off on that cliffhanger, foreboding. Tons of great things to come, obviously. No, definitely not a disaster coming for day 14. Don't know what you're talking about. But uh, that's going to go to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Uh, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.